All right, ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? I am Paul Wilson, and today we are going to add some additional codes to this page that are going to make it possible for us to save and delete a record. Um, so let's see, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Developer tab, open the Visual Basic up, and I have the modules. I have Module 1. To keep this simple, I'm going to break out the code on Module 1 for delete and then I'm going to add a module for the second code that we're going to save a record with and uh, we're going to show you how to tie those to the buttons on the form okay so I'm going to start with my delete URL function all right, so I'm going to call the function. It's going to end the function for me. We're going to have to declare our variables. The first variable that I'm going to declare is WS for my worksheet as worksheet. And we're going to declare active row as long. And then with this code, I want to verify that I want to delete the record before actually deleting the record because you could put this code in there, the delete code, and it will just delete your record without asking questions. But I prefer, before I delete anything, I like that extra check in place. So that's what these extra variables that I'm going to introduce are answer as string because it's a string of text and my note as a string because it's a string of text now at this point in the program after we've declared all the variables I'm going to start by declaring The active row for active R. I'm going to declare my note. It's just a fixed bit of text asking, is it okay to delete this record? Then we need the code to derive an answer from based upon user input. Okay, so we're going to need an if statement to determine if the user has put in yes or no of the message box. So here it goes. Um, bear with me a second here. All right. All right. So what we're going to need is a function that determines if VB if the answer is yes, then we're going to set WS equals to this sheet and with WS we're going to delete the entire row. We're going to end the width. And, uh, and if the user puts anything else than yes, we're going to exit the program. So I'll put that in. Like, I, I don't like typing much, but I did the typing on that earlier. So. <sighs> Alright, so 
basically I'm gonna try to space everything out so it looks nice and pretty and everything you know I'm gonna line everything up um, as best as I can all right now there are a couple of things that we have to do since we had an if we had to end the if if you have an if statement you end the if if you have a with you got to end the with if you have a sub you got to end the sub so where there's a start there's an end so that's the key or the trend if that helps you remember all right so we ended the if I want to hide the form before we end the sub so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy that because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this form and since we are deleting a record I'm gonna go here and click view code it's gonna give me private sub command button 2 because it's command button 2 I'm gonna call that function and that makes our button an active button so say I enter a record of blah HTTP dot dash blah username blah password blah so on and so forth and say I want to delete this record well with this code I can right click on the row that contains the record I want to delete and now I should be able to delete it is it okay to delete this record record delete yes and it deletes the row and moves on pretty simple stuff if you have any questions you know you can find that and um, what I got for you in this video is, is sort of a double header um, I got another simple code that uh, we we need to make the save button workable so in case I in case I update any record on this page I want to be able to hit save or delete it and it's and it's as simple as that so you, with this you have the option of editing this by typing in the uh, or you can go to a blank row and you can just fill everything out but unfortunately we don't have the save code right now so we're gonna do that um, how are we gonna do that we're gonna go back to our developer visual basic tab um, and then I'm going to introduce another module, module number two for my code, and I'm going to call it sub save record. Open the sub in the sub. This time there's two variables that I wanted to declare. I'm going to declare the active row as long and I'm going to use worksheet as worksheet. Dim worksheet as worksheet. WS as worksheet, I should say. And in this case, I'm going to just go ahead and set all my variables if there's anything to set. We're going to set WS equal to this worksheet, this workbook sheet's credentials. This is so the code knows where to execute this code. This is very important. All right. Now we're going to use with WS that means with this worksheet we're gonna
put the cell value as equal to the user form account tax under with. Okay. And I'm using the cells reference. Um, cells reference is the row by the column. And this is just a different way of doing things. I know in, in my sheet, I did it like that. And it was backwards. It was the, uh, the column reference in the row by using the range. It, either way, it, it works. I mean, I could change this code over. But back to what I was doing. All right. I've typed everything out as far as what... Oopsie. Uh, bear with me a second. This is acting funky. <laughs> I don't want it to be there. All right. Sorry for the hiccup. All right, so back to my developer tab. I'm working on uh, and putting all the reference to the cells and referencing the uh, user form item. And with our WS, we have to end the width. Before I end the sub, I'm going to hide the user form. I'm going to indent. And then that, and then that, and then that, and then that, and that. Make it look nice and pretty. As pretty as I can make it look. But it, it, it helps because if you're going to troubleshoot your code, you can see what the different lines do. So now I'm ready to save a record. So say that um, this works for if I want to edit, update a record, or like, you know, just make any alterations. HTTP dot dash dash. Um, whatever username password security question one go 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 uh coca cola And so on and so forth. I'll just put test one, test three, test two, and so on and forth. Test five. All right, so I'm ready to save that data. Oh, the one thing I have to do <laughs> is I have to um, tie this button to my code with the, which I had written. It's been a long day. A long, tough day. But no excuses. So I'm going to tie that button by going to the user form, clicking on the save, view code, save record. I'm going to hit stop. And then we're going to try this again. All right. Um, and I'm going to put, you know, one, test, two, test. Oh, and I got to work on the tab codes. We'll cover that in another video. So 
so I'll show you how to be able to tab to set up your tab to tab through the form as a matter of fact let's see if it works works as desired we're able to edit update records we save it it closes now I'm going to delete the record do you want to delete this record yes I want to delete this record record gone and I also locked out I want to show you one more thing that I did I don't know if I showed it before but on the first code that I wrote and first part one I added an if and then statement stating that if active row is one or two meaning that when I go back to the sheet if it's one or two the the code will not work reason being is we do not want to mess up the header of the sheet um, and that's really all I got for you is today um, if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment and then on the website I'll put the codes and uh, put a link to the spreadsheet and you could work with it on your own time or whatever have you um, and also be sure if you feel that you benefited from this content uh, subscribe to my channel like the video share the video and comment below appreciate it thank you and have a great day